Hey everybody, this is Kimberly with another Sims 3, uh, I guess you could call it Extreme Home Makeover with my alien, Florida Hale. She is going to do a makeover over uh, in this house in Twinbrook. It's a one of the houses that's in the really swampy area. And she just moved here. Uh, if you missed my last uh, personal game update, oh, is this a seed? What is this? Oh, it's an apple seed. Um, if you missed my last personal game update, she did a makeover for a different house in this uh, town. So we are going to do a makeover. So I'll show you the inside. And she's taking a bubble bath right now. So sorry, Florida, but we're going to spy on you a little bit. Uh, this is the inside. And as you can see, it's typical Sims 3 drab stuff that they decorate most of the houses with to start off with. And uh, this one has a very interesting bit uh, basement but I think with a little tender loving care this house could be actually pretty nice so she's gonna give this house a makeover um, if you don't know uh, she actually has a job as an architect so uh, in my mind I'm having her do remodeling of different houses buy them remodel them and then sell them so just a little fun with the Sims 3 so I'll be back after the house is done and uh, we'll take it from there And we're back. I have done a makeover on the house and I wanted to show it to you at night to start off with. You can see that I created this cute little pathway here and put some lights on it and um, really I think this turned out really well. I did recolor the grass and put some trees out in the front yard. We'll look at it again out in the daylight. I also built a porch onto the front of the house which I think is very southern looking and um, you can see that I put a little chair, well, like a chair out here for them to relax and also a uh, like a little love seat type thing. I sort of wanted to put a porch swing out here, but they don't have one, but in real life it would be cute to have a porch swing. And you can see I put some lights out here, put some lights on the, uh, oh, one of them disappeared. I had a, a light there. Anyway, I'll fix that off camera, but um, so you can see the inside. I sort of stuck with the same colors, but not really. It's a lot more uh, cluttered and uh, lived in than it was before. But you can see I kept the bathroom in the same spot and put in a shower instead of a tub. This little uh, tchotchke shelf thingy I thought was cute for a bathroom. And I put in these windows, which they are always in the open position uh, even though they're not really open the sim doesn't care but I thought it was sort of unrealistic for anywhere that w had winter but they look cute so they stayed in um, if you lived in a warmer climate you know that would probably be a better idea although some people do like you know to keep their houses really cold and the kitchen you can see I put up completely different wallpaper I um, actually the kitchen I moved it was over here I moved it into this room by itself and it's a rather large kitchen and you can see I made the living room I think the living room turned out really cute um, I love these windows and doors they're from seasons and I sort of kept with the same color scheme as in things were green before and they're still green uh, but I think it turned out cute I love this little lamp I think it's adorable and downstairs looks completely different if you'll remember it was the basement area and it had just the washer and dryer and you can see that we walled off this area which means I felt like the building would still be structurally um, sound if we took out those two columns that were in here I tried to leave them in but they really just were in the way and so building this wall took the place of those two columns and we moved the washer and dryer over here and of course re recolored them slash painted them whatever and she's got a little laundry sink in here and it's, I thought about putting a bathroom downstairs but I decided to put in a sauna instead thus why I put the brick walls and this is a sauna where she can come down and she uses it all the time uh, let's see. Let's enjoy a refreshing steam. Um, if you do get this in your game, be aware that every time they do a revitalizing mud bath, it takes their age down. Now, shes I've turned her aging off uh, by uh, use of a potion. So, yeah, so she's just going to enjoy a refreshing steam down here. I really like this thing. Um, you can buy it in the Sims 3 store if you want to. And you can see that I did the bedroom down here 
and I like how it turned out. I uh, These are not my colors at all. Um, I really like these branch lights that are behind the bed. I think that's cute. I would totally do that in real life. And I put laundry baskets in all the rooms so that laundry is not all over the place. Um, when I moved, the butler did not re uh, move with us. She wants to detonate the toilet. Should I? I should. Let's just see what happens. Build a house and then destroy it. Why don't you? Um, we'll do it if you, that's what you really want to do. Um, so she has this feeling of inner peace from, I'm, I'm sure from using the mud bath. So if you want to detonate the toilet, that's fine. Let's go upstairs and see. Yeah, it's daylight now so we can see. Uh, I put these azalea bushes out here. They're a very southern thing also, so... I think that this turned out pretty cute. Pretty cute. Um, I should have her accept gifts because I haven't done that on a, um, I haven't done that on air in a while. Come out here. Let's see who we got gifts from. This is a good lock if you, if you uh, want to do fishing. Okay, we got a gift from 180686 card. Thank you very much as always. We will accept that. And, oh. Instantly destroys a Sims relationship with another a jar of potent discord. We'll send the gift back uh, later because I think I've done all my gifts for today. Thank you very much. And, uh... Let's see, she wants to detonate the toilet. Um, all right. Is this the, this is the, it's the only toilet in the house, so it must be the one she wants to do. It's gonna cost us $5 to detonate it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna cause our house to catch on fire. Oh wait, hold a minute, hold a minute. If we're gonna do that, we should totally put in a fire alarm so that they'll come and put our house out. Not that we can't, but <laughs> it's really sad when you have to put a fire alarm in the bathroom, but I'm going to do that. And it, come to think of it, I never put one in the kitchen, so we're going to do that too. There you go. All right. So, okay. If you want to <laughs> blow up the toilet, let's see what happens. I have not ever blown up anything in my house before, so this should prove to be <laughs> interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh. We should probably back up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know how loud it's going to be. She's running outside. You're smart. Okay. I have a feeling it's going to startle me when it actually happens. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, that's it? I thought there was going to be a fire. <laughs> uh, salvage a burnt item. All right. Well, here you go. Oh, man. I really uh, for sure thought... Okay, why well, can't we do this? Collect that. Um, I thought for sure we would, um, have fire. Oh, well. <laughs> it's still a weird thing to do. Oh, wait, there's more that flew into this room? It's a good thing you did go outside. <laughs> I really like these candles. They're one of my favorite things in Sims 3. And you can recolor them if you want to, so I do like to put them all over the place. Um... They say mood enhancing, but I don't think they actually do enhance your mood. That could be wrong. Let's go in here. I mean, she does have a nicely decorated thing here. I don't know if that's from the candle or not, but can you not get to that? Probably because of the rug. Hold on. <laughs> she probably can't do that because of the rug. Actually, we'll just put this here. Oh, I thought for sure we were going to have a fire. Clean that up. And then we have to buy you another toilet, you weirdo. So she wants to what? Salvage a burnt item. Oh, okay. Oh, she has to go to a junkyard for that. All right. Okay, so that was this makeover. This is going to be a very short episode, but I just wanted to uh, show you guys the makeover that we did on this house. And we'll live here again, you know, for a while. And then we'll move on. Um, I am going to have her continue to go into the um, time machine to try to get a kid 
uh, we're going to keep going to the past until that happens. So don't be surprised if you see a kid in an upcoming episode. I hope you really enjoyed this, and I hope you're not too sad that we didn't have a fire out here. And I hope you have a great day. Keep on simming. Bye.